their brief, they just had two words, uh, which was visual overload. We approach our projects always from a creative side, so we think very conceptually about it. So we do a lot of uh, design explorations, and what we found um, was the uh, Pixar zoetrope. Uh, the zoetrope is uh, like a, a structure when you spin it around right, and it looks like the elements are moving. And uh, they said, well, you know, this is amazing. This is ex exactly what we're looking for, visual overload. We used Max Veranda uh, already in the design exploration, already in the pitch phase, which proved to be very, very successful in the sense that it, it gives you really, really quick feedback. Usually you would do, you know, a style frame or concept art, and then you would go and do a storyboard and do a previous, and you would show it to the client, and they say, well, why is it gray when uh, we get our color back and with Maxwell you can just show them an, a render and say well this is how it's gonna look like exactly like that just with less grain and that's really easy it's, it's facilitate the process um, so it's that's really uh, what is the main feature for me so the first star frames we did for the MTV thing and the pitch look very similar to what the final thing is and it only took us like a day or two uh, we used stock models off of uh, the internet or uh, you know, libraries we had lying around and just threw models on them. They have this great um, uh, online uh, material library, which is an amazing resource. You can just go type, even from inside your 3D tool, you just can just type whatever wood and then sort by rating. It's like Amazon or something. And you throw it on the model and it just works. It's pretty amazing. Uh, yeah, Maxwell is really uh, nicely integrated into Cinema 4D. You have that feature called Fire, where you can just literally fire up the secondary window, which shows you the view inside your 3D. 3D world and a completely finely rendered quality. It's a progressive renderer so you can move around your camera and it keeps updating at the same time. So we did actually a print frames from the project as well which are uh, kind of intense because you have about 5-6k uh, image um, and uh, that obviously renders a lot longer. You have this great feature in Maxwell uh, uh, called cooperative rendering where actually all of your nodes render one image together. If you're at a point where they say well it's still too grainy then you really have a problem because a little bit less will take you double the amount of render time. And that's where this uh, cooperative rendering comes in really nicely, that you can throw all of your um, hardware, all of your render power on just in one frame, which is really cool.